Dungeon Fighter Online was a global sensation, pulling in over $10 billion in revenue and hosting over 600 million players within its digital world. For those of you who haven't played it, Dungeon Fighter Online is a 2D multiplayer beat em up style game that offers your typical MMO amenities such as bosses, PvP arena, guilds, a decent character progression, and so on. It was just an all around solid game. It came out in 2005, and it's been around since then. So, why am I talking about DFO? Well, that's because we have been given the first glimpse of a new entry to the Dungeon Fighter world, but this time in a 3D version dubbed Project barbecue. So why Project Barbecue? The developers aren't fans of smoked pork, they're more fans of the Gunner's BBQ combo that was widely used during the early days of DFO and have such given that moniker to this project. So Project BBQ was revealed during the Dungeon and Fighter Carnival event in South Korea on Christmas Day and for some, and believe me I've seen it all over my Twitter, this was the best gift of them all. With a 3 minute and 10 second teaser trailer, kind of like a reveal trailer, we get to see some interesting things about this upcoming game. We've learned first and foremost that's being developed by Action Studio and published by Neopol. Neopol is a subsidiary of Nexon, and this is the same duo that currently handles Dungeon Fighter Online. So we're not switching anything around, this is just the same people making a 3D kind of successor to the game. But we also saw some incredibly smooth combat for this game. Very crisp animations, effects, and graphics to match. I was widely impressed for a game that's only been in development for one year. Now, the trailer wasn't the longest thing in the world, but we were able to pull some key points from it and make some okay assumptions. So, and I say assumptions because they don't say anything in the trailer, it's just some gameplay. So the game will feature a world with vastly different biomes and environments. We were able to see this because we got to see little small clips, snippets, um, of a bunch of different things. A citadel-like structure, forests, cliffs, um, kind of a dark castle looking thing. So we could possibly assume that there is a large world hidden away in this game, including a host of characters and lore from the DFO universe, which the developers did mention that, yes, this game does, play, does take place, in Dungeon Fighter Online, so expect to see some repetitious characters from the lore. Now, the bosses are your traditionally large and intimidating figures that are usually found within Eastern games, and we had a glimpse of a large knight with a blade, we saw a pair of warriors fighting a dragon, then we saw a female character going straight fisticuffs with a brute, so you can expect some grand battles to be taking, uh, taking place here. And I'm looking forward to it. I really like the way Eastern games typically have boss battles. There's usually some pretty unique mechanics. There's usually some interesting kind of stuff going down, some good loot. So I really like what they do typically, and I really hope this game kind of continues with that trend. Now, we didn't see any indicator of combos during the combat kind of phase, but the combat is most likely going to be combo based. I mean, you can assume that from some of the animations, you know. We see in, there's an obviously large influence on anime and barbecues. We see characters kind of charging up and unleashing brutal chains of attacks, whether by magic or by blade. It's very reminiscent of like a Dragon Ball Z where, you know, you have a character, you got Goku or whatever, he's charging up and um, goes Super Saiyan. So it's kind of stuff like that where you'll see that happening and then unleashes a flurry of attacks, creating combos. But one thing I did see, I'm not going to be critical on because obviously, like I said, this game has been one year in development and they most likely have not done anything crazy here, but I did take note, repetitious moves and attacks. So we saw the same overhead, a red colored slam attack by the greatsword character multiple times within the trailer. And I know this is a very early look and probably is still a few, it is a still uh, a few years from release. So we do have quite a long while before we're actually gonna see this game, but it's just a note and I know it's something that'll probably get changed, uh, but putting it out there. Now the trailer overall, I did, I did think they did a great job. I think they did a, a good job of explaining what we would generally see within the game. And it has definitely done well generating some hype around the title, right? Every time I open my Twitter, I'm seeing people talking about the game as the next big one to keep your eyes on, as you know, a contender to be in quote ARPG classic. I'm not quite in that boat yet. Um, I wasn't a big Dungeon Fighter Online fan, so I really don't have any sort of basis for this. I'm looking at it completely from an open, unbiased point of view. And I think it does look like an, a good game, 
but I need to see more. I need to see what the loot system is like. I need to see what the PVE is like, what the PVP is like. I mean, we don't know anything outside a three minute and 10 second curated, highly marketed, uh, easily consumable teaser trailer. So I'm gonna keep my hopes and my hype very minimized for now, but it does look good from what we've seen. Now, like I said, it's extremely early. I'm not gonna make any predictions yet. As for things that were announced outside the trailer, so they did talk to developers and things like that, we did figure out a little bit more on the direction that they're taking classes. Barbecue will feature a cast of seven to eight classes, and the game will feature a mix of open world maps, which were mentioned to be seamless, and instanced dungeon content, which seems likely since this game is a successor to Dungeon Fighter Online. That all kind of goes together. Now, that's all we know so far, guys. We're looking at a game that's been in development, like I said, for one year, and it's going to be a long while before we get our hands on this one. But I did want to get something out there, see what you guys thought about the trailer, see what you guys thought about kind of the small tidbits of information we have today, and do you think Nexon is going to be a reputable publishing company? I know I read a little bit about Dungeon Fighter Online, and I guess Nexon tried to put it up on Steam a couple years ago, and the servers were only up for a short while before they went down because Nexon didn't know what they are doing. They didn't put enough, I guess, effort, time into it. And then Neopol ended up taking it over, putting it back on Steam. They've been managing it, and it's been a much, much more successful, I guess, endeavor. So I'm curious what you guys have to say. Um, but yeah, that's really it, guys. Uh, this is all we know. So this has been Vulcan, and I am out of here. Thank you.